IGN released a video where game director from Destiny 2 Luke Smith and project lead Mark Noseworthy talked about Bungie's vision for the sequel. I'll be talking about certain key points that they mentioned in the video and give you guys my perspective on it. Making the sequel to a game like Destiny is hard. Hard in the way that making a sequel to anything that people love is hard. But it's, it's challenging because we have this game that brings people together over and over and with making a sequel, one of the first things we thought about doing was how are we going to bring more people into this world. Whether you're steeped in Destiny lore and you've read every Grimoire card and you've played for thousands of hours, or you're brand new to Destiny, you can get something out of Destiny too and you start at the same spot. So let me start by saying that they made it clear that they chose to abandon their core audience in Destiny to reach out a broader, more casual audience and wanted new players not to feel like there was a high wall to get into the game if they allowed legacy players to keep their weapons and armor. I mean, it's easier for Bungie to just have everybody start from zero, then figure out a way for legacy players to keep their earned weapons and armors, right? Uh, let me know if you guys feel differently. So let's move on to the next one. We have a game that's sticky in that it brings players back together each week. It allows routines to be formed. Destiny's a game that can replace things like poker night or book clubs. It allows us to have experiences like golf night, but you're shooting monsters or you're trying to go to the lighthouse in Destiny 1. It creates excuses. Shockingly, I agree with Luke Smith on this point that Destiny for most of us became like a book club in his own words and kind of like a poker night as well. So it became this uh, sort of ritual that we share with our friends and most of us. And it's good that they are keeping this and building upon it. So let's move on to the next biggest point. Getting the story right has been super, super important for us this time. And by getting it right, that means telling a story that people can relate to with memorable characters, you know, epic moments. And Adding a story to Destiny 2 is already a huge plus. And it's sad that it took them three years to add one, but I guess it's better late than never. I'm mildly excited for the story. You know, like they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Previously, we had a really strong subculture of people who got deeply into the Destiny lore and loved it. But it's a niche. We think more people can get into this. We're approaching storytelling not just from a basic A plot and cinematic perspective, but like how do we take story and put it throughout the game world? How do we put it in such a way that everyone who plays Destiny believes this is a really compelling world. I want to know more about its characters. I want to know more about its history. Inspired by the lore and the fiction that's in the grimoire, what if that was in game? by finding these exotic weapons in the world, these exotic pieces of armor, and they were learning more about the characters and the history and the universe and the fiction of Destiny. And I'm glad that they're bringing story progression and character lore within the gaming space, but at least acknowledge that you did a terrible job for players accessing the Grimoire scores. And those sugar quoted by saying that it was a small subculture that loved the story, but it was a niche. That is some bullshit. I would hold any more criticism for the story until it comes out because, you know, I haven't played it, so I will hold that until it comes out. Destiny 2's design, which is you know, something I call unhiding the fun. If you see an activity on the destination, that's because you haven't done it yet. You can do it. Great. It's like whack-a-mole. Just get it done. And that will be in your milestone tray. These are the things you can pull up at any point and they'll tell you like, hey, the next most important things to do, we, we think are this. You don't need to do them, but if you do them, this is the tier of reward you're going to get. The difficulty, certainly at the pinnacle level of the game, we've tried to make a much tougher game that if you think of your weapons and items as a golf bag, we want you to look into your golf bag before you start an activity and go like, oh, what should we bring to this? Um, because for some of those activities, you're going to be loadout locked once they start, which means you can't change. But now the locking out of the loadouts for endgame is a, gr it's a great idea because it will make people strategize with their teams and they won't allow players to solo events like in the past. And probably they will find out sooner or later, but it will make it harder. So I don't know what you guys think about you're that. getting ready for a last battle. You want to feel like the game you're playing has a sense of progression. The other side of the progress word here is investment progression. We have had multiple different versions of the investment game in Destiny. Like how do we reward players for playing? And I think we again, in TTK, started to turn the ship and get it into a better place for the franchise. And I think in Destiny 2 is going to be our next take on that. We're trying to really look when we're making a sequel, how do we make this a new platform for years of ongoing content and make it easier for people to get into? We want to be the game where you can 
encounter other people. I want to be the game where you turn a corner, there's something amazing happening, and there are other people to play with. We think of those people as potential friends, and we think of our world as a place where you can meet people who become your potential friends. Destiny is a game where you explore the ruins of a lost civilization, shooting monsters and aliens with your friends where you create a character and you move him or her around all these different activities, whether they're single player, cooperative, competitive, and it's that same character that grows over the course of several years. And you're doing that in the presence of other people. One of the things I love about games is the moment they're new and the moment you can have a conversation about them. I am consumed in many So ways. far the game is heading the right direction and adding many things that were missing from Destiny 1 and ultimately everything will be decided when the game launches. So let me ask you this question. Are you happy with what you see with Destiny 2 so far? I'm really interested in what you guys say on the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe, like, and share. And remember that this was Fury. I'll be seeing you guys later. I think in 2017, it's still a pretty unique position and we're trying to push it farther. When we sit down to think about what do we want to do with Destiny and where do we want to take Destiny the franchise, a lot of it's going to be about how is this going to allow players to create and form memories that we hope they'll carry with them forever.